Okay, so for this one you have um, like a rectangular cube and then they say it's an open top. So I'll just kind of rough sketch it in here. Okay, and then they say that the, the length is twice the width. So if the width is X of the base, then the length would be 2X. And we don't know what the height is, so we're just going to call that H. We know that the volume formula is length times width times height. So volume equals the length times the width times the height. And we know that the volume is 10 cubic whatevers. So 10 equals 2x squared times h. So ultimately what we're going to do is solve this equation for h and then plug that h into the equation that we're going to maximize or minimize. So I'm going to divide off by 2x squared to both sides. So I have 5 over x squared equals h. Then they want me to um, minimize the cost. So I'm going to come up with a cost function. And then the cost is um, $9 per whatever square foot for the base. So $9 times the area of the base. And then plus six dollars times the area of all four sides its area so four of those areas on the side all right so the cost is nine dollars and then the area of the base is 2x times x And then six dollars times four because you've got four sides there's no top to worry about so just four sides and the area of the side is h times x all right so let's clean this up a little bit c of x equals 18 x squared plus 24 H we don't want because we want everything in terms of X's. So I go back over here to that first equation and I take out the H and I put in 5 over X squared times X. All right, so the cost is 18X squared plus 24 times 5, 120, and then X on top over x squared on the bottom leaves you with an x on the bottom. All right. Even if you struggle to get the equation, get an equation and then take a derivative of it because that's what max and min mean is you're, you're finding the derivative and then setting the derivative equal to zero. So even if you screw up the equation, keep going with the problem, take the derivative, set the derivative equal to zero, solve for x. And that's what we're going to do here. So when you take the derivative, move the x to the 1 up. It's easier to take the derivative that way. So I have 18x squared plus 120x to the minus 1 power. That's still the cost function. Now take the derivative. So the derivative is pull the power down and then decrease by one. So pull the power down and then decrease by one. So negative one minus one, negative two. Okay, set that equal to zero. And I'm going to move the x to the minus two back down. All right, and now solve for x. So I'm going to clear fractions in the problem, multiply every term by x squared, so 0 times x squared is 0, 
36 x to the 1 times x to the 2 is x to the 3. And then when I multiply this term by x squared, it cancels out. From here, solve for x. Add 120 to both sides. Divide by 36. And then to get rid of a power, you do the root. So x is equal to the cube root of 5. So I go back up to my problem here. x was the width. The width is cube root of 5. The length is 2 times the cube root of 5. And then the height, you got to go back to this formula here. So the height is 5 divided by, and then just put in the cube root of 5 squared which is 5. And you can simplify this all kinds of ways, but I'm pretty sure if you left it as the cube root of 25, you'd be golden. But it does reduce to the cube root of 5, because that's um, this fraction is 5 over 5 to the 2 thirds. So when you subtract and subtract the powers, it's going to be 5 to the 1 third on top, which makes it the cube root of 5.